Hi everyone. Today I will present our work, Image Translation by Latent Union of Subspaces for Cross Domain Plaque Detection. This is a joint work with NIH and University of Wisconsin Medicine. The calcified plaque in the blood vascular is a very strong indicator for many diseases such as cardiovascular disease and prostate cancer. So automatic detecting of plaque is very helpful for early diagnosis of this disease and also design personalized treatment. In this work, we focus on developing a cross domain plaque detector on both the lung contrast CT and contrast enhanced CT. And we only have the training data from the non contrast CT domain. The simple idea is to translate the image from the lung contra contrast enhanced CT to lung contrast CT and just apply the lung contrast CT plaque detector. So we'll first follow the previous image translation model proposed by New back in 2018. In New's work, images are translated across different domains by a shared single latent subspace. So we first follow his model training and image translation model across the lung contrast CT and contrast enhanced CT. And in this slide, we show the image translation results by Liu's model. In the left, we show the original contrast enhanced CT. And in the right, we show the converted lung contrast CT. If we look into the plaque structure, we can say that the plaque are crept after image translation. But other large internal structures such as kidney are preserved well. So in order to preserve the small, tiny structures such as the calcified plaque, we propose two solutions in our work. First, we propose to extract small size image patches from the full size image. And after we extract this small size image patch, we found that actually the small image patch lies in different local clusters instead of a single latent subspace. So based on our findings, we changed the shared latent single subspace model to be a union of subspace model. And in this way, we can constrain that the small image patch lies in different local clusters. And in this slide, we show the image translation results by our new model. We show the original contrast enhanced CT in the left, and we also show the translated lung contrast CT in the right. If we look into the calcified plaque in these two images, we can see that the calcified plaque structure is preserved much better in our model, and also the pixel brightness are very similar in these two images. In order to quantitatively evaluate the performance of our model, we compare it to two state-of-art methods, the CycleGAN and UNET, for cross-domain image translation. We first train a plaque detection and segmentation model using the mask RSN on the labeled lung contrast CT, and we tested this model on different synthetic lung contrast CT generated by different image translation models. So in general, it shows that our image translation model achieves the best performance on plaque detection and plaque segmentation tasks. For example, for the precision of plaque detection, our model improves about 4% compared to the baseline model. And for recall of the plaque detection, our model improves about 9% compared to the baseline model. And for the segmentation of plaque, our model improves about 10% on the dice score compared to the baseline model. So all these quantitative results further shows that the patch-based union of subspace image translation model is more suitable and is better for preserving the small structures such as calcified plaque in the image translation tasks. And in the future work, we will evaluate our image translation model and more cross-domain image segmentation tasks and classification tasks such as cross-domain pancreas segmentation and cross-domain tumor classification. And thanks for everyone's time and attention. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email me. Thanks.